Hello everyone, welcome to Vitek product introduction class. I'm Alan. Today I special introduce another a new product, Vitek new product. It's a innovative product. It called a solar UPS pure switch. When I heard this name, it was strange. What name? Why it named the solar UPS pure switch? A pure switch can be powered by a solar panel. Yes, it is. Let's open box, see what it have in the packing box. First, uh, this is a solar UPS PU switch. Then it includes a, a power adapter. The power adapter uh, a little different with normal power adapter. It's not a DC jack. It is a two line. And this side is a AC. And uh, this is a QIG. It guide how it will connect it. In the accessory also it have a screwdriver. This is a warm mount case. This is a AC cable. It's a US standard AC cable. Okay, let me see what is a solar UPS PU switch. Uh, in the front, it like, look like a normal PU switch, but it's a little strange special design. See, it has five gigabit PU ports, and uh, it includes different kind of PU. First, the port one is support 802 port 3 BT standard 60 watt PU. That means you can use these ports to power up any uh, PTZ uh, camera, any the big uh, dual band access point. And uh, these two ports is standard PoE, 30 watt. It means it fit 802 port 3, 80 standard. You can power any device like camera, access point, VIP phone. And these two ports is a little strange. It can output 20 volt and 48 volt PoE. That means it can output 20 volt passive PoE. Also, it can output standard PoE. Why it designed like this? Because in some CCTV system, we use the Ubiquiti, we use the Cambria, we use the, uh, the Mimosa CP to point point. So, we need to use this passive PoE port to power up the CP. And here also have a SAP ports used for some fabric contraction. And uh, in the front, it also has some DIP button that look like what it function. First, uh, in the right side, it have two DIP button to control the port 4 and port 5 on the port 24 volt and 48 volt PoE. And here also have a watchdog. Watchdog means the PoE, it can detect the PoE port, can detect the PD device. Like this port connect the camera. If the camera running hung, its system hung, and the PoE switch cannot detect the camera alive, okay. This PoE port will auto restart the PoE. That means we will restart the camera. So it is very useful for the installer. No need to go to the onside, climb the pole to restart your camera. Let's see the important point. How this PoE switch connects to the panel and the battery. We can see here I have a contactor. It includes some word like uh, S positive and S negative. The so S means solar panel. That means you can connect your solar panel to here. Here have a B positive and B negative. The B is the battery. That means you connect your battery here. And uh, here also write V, V, v positive and V uh, negative. What it means? It is DC input. How it used? Here, we have the power adapter. It will working from AC input, then DC output. So you can use this red line for positive and black line for negative to connect. 
pair with uh, positive and negative. So, so this switch can get the power from your solar panel. If your solar panel no work, you can continue get power from your AC and uh, charge your battery. And at night, no AC, no power, no solar panel. Okay, you get energy from the battery. It's amazing. And here also have some LED. It can uh, show the status of your battery, your solar charging, and also it show no switch can get the energy from your solar panel or from your AC. And here have some DIP switch button. It will let you compare to support different kinds of size of battery, different type of battery. And our list product is support uh, two kinds of battery. One is the lead axis battery. Another is the living battery. So uh, almost uh, the, in the market, uh, most of brand of battery is also both support. So you don't worry. So this is a really nice product. Image you have some CCTV project in some area like a forest, like some mountain, like a beach. This area not easy to get power. And uh, you think about uh, use the solar panel, but uh, you don't know how to choose solar panel, how to choose the solar controller. Uh, if you want to use fiber, you need to uh, integrate uh, uh, a media converter and uh, different device have different PoE standard like the Ubiquiti CP use the 24 volt PoE and your camera use 48 volt standard PoE and some of the PDZ camera need 60 watt BT standard okay you need to choose too much if you just choose white tag okay this is all in one it integrate everything integrate the standard PoE integrate the BT standard 60 watt PoE integrate the 24 watt passive PoE integrate the fiber pulse and no need to choose solar controller it integrate the MPPD controller so you just choose your solar panel and connect the S and choose your battery connect the B and even you can use the AC this is the use this power adapter change from AC to DC okay that's all it's very easy to build a solar system for your CCTV Simple, right? So I re highly recommend the installer, the integrator, choose this kind of white tech solar UPS PU switch in your project. And the next class, I will tell us, tell everyone how to connect everyone. I will do a demo show. I will show how to connect solar panel, battery to this switch, how it works. Okay? Thank you everyone, see you next time.